Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of running backs who are hoping for plenty of touches on their way. It's McCoy's Bill going up against Lynch's Raiders. Now let's get you out to Ralph Wilson Stadium where Jim Nance and Bill Sims have the call. Raiders, Bills, it's pouring here as we're getting ready for today's matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims, and it's a nasty day out there. And Phil? look at here today is the kickers field goal kicking maybe not just kick and try to get those three points because the weather could be a factor so play calling on third down knowing that maybe you'll go for it on fourth down that will change some of those play calls coach has got to be ready for those situations and Steven Hauschka looks set now to kick it away and Taiwan Jones is back deep for the opening kick This game has officially begun. They bring him to the turf. And a run back of about 20. At quarterback, the young man, there's been a lot of buzz around him at six foot three out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. Has all the tangibles you'd like to see in an NFL quarterback. Strong, big, can run, has a good throwing arm. He's going to do well in the NFL. The Bills lined up in the nickel. First down at the 17. And they're all over him for the sack. The Bills defense making a statement early with a sack. Yeah, you always want to hit the quarterback early, get some self-doubt into the quarterback, but also give the offensive linemen some self-doubt going like, man, this might be a long day, and I think it will be. They run the counter play. Tackles made. That's just a bad job of the offensive line. Third down on the way. The Raiders need to get to the 27 to pick up a first. Carr's going to take it from the gun. He makes the catch. Gaines is the one who brings him to the ground. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. First down coming up. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Hand off made. Running room. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. Bill, you always talk about establishing the run early, and they do it with that one big play. Oh, they sure did. This offensive line and that play, they put a whipping on the defensive linemen and linebackers that time, and a good job by the running back taking advantage of it. 
First down here after the run. This play set up by the long. Tackle down after a gain of 12. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. We'll go Brown. Touchdown. Marching right down the field for an opening score. That's a terrific start for this team, Phil, with the early touchdown. Yeah, just the way they planned it, man. You get in there during the week, you practice, you look at all that all that film, and then you say, here's going to be our starting plays for the game. You go out there, you run them, and you score. That is a great feeling. The Raiders line up now for the point after. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Tate's got it. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. There's been all kinds of buildup and anticipation, and now the rookie quarterback heads onto the field for his first series. Yeah, I think things have changed so much over the years. These quarterbacks, especially these rookies, they're so much more ready to play than previous years. They get to throw the football a lot in college, a lot in high school, so they come in the NFL to prepared and ready to go. McCoy lines up in the backfield. The Bills will take the snap from the 25. And that gains a few. Now focusing in on the offensive unit, LaShawn McCoy has more moves than perhaps anyone in the league. He does have a lot of moves. He can stop short. He can show the speed. And every once in a while, he'll catch you by surprise and try to hit you with the power. He is a terrific NFL running back. Second down and seven. McCoy has the grab. They continue to move the football here in the first quarter. Moving inside the 30. Yeah, nice job so far here. The quarterback is off to a good solid start nice play calls and they're just marching down the field the defense at this point trying to keep him out of the end zone first down following the long play Here's the handoff. Over, tackled down for a gain of about one. He is one of the great young talents on defense in the entire league. 
linebacker Khalil Mack. Well, let's see all his his level of competition in college. Uh, did we just smash that little phrase and get rid of it? Because Khalil Mack, man, he got it done in the NFL. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Hand off. Runs it across. Touchdown. They answer right back, Phil, with a touchdown of their own in the early going. Yeah, a lot of confidence down there in the field on both sides. And the offenses, they got to be feeling good. Here you are uh, tied early in the game, first quarter. And it, this could be an offensive explosion here today. The Bills now with the extra point to tie the game. The point after try is in the books. Got a tie game here now, and what's been a good one so far. The score's seven to seven. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Bills defense had no answers on the last series. Jim, you are completely right there. They couldn't stop anything, the run or the pass. So you got to go to the sideline and regroup and say, we got to, we need a better effort to stop that offense. start penalty will push them back five yards false start offense still first down A little jumpy there by that defensive front. Encroachment defense. Still first down. Bills defense now is going to go nickel. Carr's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Out to Cook. Alexander's there to make the tackle. The Raiders have been awesome today on first down. That time it's a nice play design. They throw the football, picks up solid yards, second and short. Boy, that's what every offense likes to be in. Following that completion, second and short. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Trying to power his way right up the middle. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Takes it from the gun. 
Catch made. He's tackled right at the 36. For the offensive unit, the starters include Michael Crabtree, a wide receiver, a first-round pick out of Texas Tech in 2009. I think this is going to be a breakout year for Michael Crabtree. He's got experience. He's overcome injuries. And now it's time to put it all together on the football field. And I'm sure he will. Second and six. Lynch is handed the football. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Lynch is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down here after the run. got talent this receiver can make the catches when you throw it his way and I think his talent the way offenses are designed and the rules of the NFL it makes guys like him almost unstoppable coming to the line at the 32 that was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Alexander is able to read that play and make the hit. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down coming up. To the ground. That's a gain of six. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. After the run, the Raiders get set at the line, needing to get to the 22 for a first from the shotgun. And incomplete. Attempt coming up. And the kick is good for three. They put up three here in the first to take the lead. It's always good to get those points on the board and get the lead and get the other team chasing you. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. Tate will take this one. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. 
The Bills offense heading back onto the field to start the drive after the result of their last possession was a touchdown. You think they've got another one in them, partner? Oh, I absolutely do. Look, I mean, just look at them. they got a good football team. The quarterback has great confidence in talent. And you put those teams together, that makes you good. It makes you dangerous. And I wouldn't be surprised to see them march down there again. Bills will take the snap from the 25. Nelson's all over that offense and brings him down. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down and a long way to go. Nelson's all over the ball carrier. Well, in a situation like this, third long, there's only a few things you can do. Screens always are good and safe. Draw plays are also a safe call. But if you're going to throw it, most of the time you throw it short and hope the receiver can catch it and make a run afterwards. It's third down coming up. The Raiders with a nickel look here on defense. That is an impressive play, no doubt about it. And nowadays from these receivers, we see one of these every single game. Hey, these guys are good. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Scanning the field. What a catch. That's another reception giving it two. Well, it's a big game by the offense, and that's what this league is about. We talk about so many things. Oh, play good defense, don't turn it over. But it's about big plays. you got to take chances down the field. The quarterback was willing to do it that time, and he made it happen. Breaking huddle at the six. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Get ready. Two, three, five. Two. McCoy's taking the handoff. And that gains a few. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of... A lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Let's go! Red 38! Red 38! Second and goal from the three. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Let's go. 188. 188. Third and goal to go from the two. Colbert tackled down. Tolbert is looking for a place to run the football that time to pick up the third down and short, but nowhere to go. Offensive line gets dominated. Now it's fourth down. If he makes it, the game is tied. And he puts it through for three. 
We're getting close to the second quarter, and the field goal has tied the game. Yeah, these teams are starting to loosen up. You know, I like that. Get over those nerves that sometimes you have early in the game. Hey, this thing's going to be a barn burner. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. They're setting up the return. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Raiders back on the field with their offense now. They've scored on each of their last two drives and have to be feeling pretty confident right now at the start of this one. Yeah, it is amazing what the mind can do sometimes on the football field. You go out there and you score, you just, you feel like nothing can stop you. So it would not be surprised to see them to go out there and have success again. Bills defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. He'll go nickel. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. He's taken down at the 35. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down and three following that nice run. Surveys. Tries to get the feet down, but this will be ruled incomplete. On the defensive side, Marcel Darius can't be a game wrecker. Yeah, they call him the big dancing bear, and I can see why a big man with great feet and that's what makes him so tough to block because he can run you over or go around you it'll be third down the bills lined up in the nickel dropping back three almost intercepted good play that time by the defender he read the quarterback got position and knock that pass away on third down. The Raiders are going to have to punt. Thompson's got it at the 15. Games 14. The Raiders' defense on that last series may have taken some positives out of only allowing a field goal. Well, listen, I think three is better than seven. No question about that when you're talking about the defense. But they got some corrections to make. I think they did it on the sidelines. And this time, they're looking to go out there and get a three and out. down at the 29. Taking off.
Now first and ten. And incomplete. What a hit that time. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Second down after the incompletion. The Raiders' defense now is going to go Let's nickel. Go. Incomplete Smith was in the vicinity. You know, Jim, it's been a long time, but when I played and it was third and long early in the game, I knew the defense was going to be very careful. So I was already thinking, if I don't like it down the field, I'm going to throw it short and do it quickly. Third down now. The Bills will line up the first down Let's markers go. right at the 39-yard line. He'll take the snap from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Incomplete looking underneath that time. The Bills put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. They're in punting formation. And that punt is going out of bounds. They are not going to allow them to return it. The Raiders offense now ready to get a drive going. Not something we've seen a whole lot of to this point as the punters are having a very busy afternoon of it here, Phil. Well, you know, Jim, I came into this game and I just wanted to see a lot of punts because that's exciting football, right? Well, that's what we've seen so far. So let's see if one of these offenses, maybe the one out there right now, can get something going and, and put some excitement back in the stadium. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Lynch. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second and 12. Lynch is going to secure the handoff. Lynch is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. This is third down. Cars alone in the backfield. From the shotgun the field and it falls incomplete the Raiders don't have a lot of options on third and long situations the pass goes incomplete and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw King is back now he'll be punting Thompson's going to take this one from the 30. And a run back of about five. The Raiders' defense, Bill, where are they right now mentally after the last time giving up a couple of first downs, but in the end, forcing the punt? Well, they, they feel great. And, I, and I'll give a lot of credit to the coaches on the sideline. I thought they put the players in good positions, and the players took advantage of it. down at the 35 and that pass is just thrown away <laughs> 
two tight ends on the field here. Second and ten. Has his man. And Irvin in on the tackle. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. On the way, third down. The Raiders with a nickel look here on defense. Snap it out of the gun. Throws the pass. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Matthew's not able to come up with the catch. And a lot of times when you see a receiver drop a pass, they take their eyes off it. That's one thing. Or they're just trying to get it in their hands too quick. Why? Because they're trying to make some yards after the catch. That was the problem that time. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Bills have been all about defense here of late. Three and out the last time they were on the field. Yeah, it was a really good drive by them, just stopping the offense so quick. And uh, it looked every aspect worked well. The coaches had to be really happy with the defense. First down at the 20. Has the grab. Taken down at the 27. We played a quarter, and it's the defenses that are shining. We're all tied up back after this. Papa John's, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Back here to start quarter two. We are deadlocked right now in a game that has seen its fair share of defense. Yeah, it's kind of fun to watch, isn't it? I love defenses when they come out and they just establish the line of scrimmage and beat the offense up. That's what we've seen so far, and I think it's going to continue. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. The second quarter is underway with this snap. And there's only two yards to be found right there. Lynch is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Now third and short following the run. The Bills' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Lynch has got it on the handle. And gains about one. Lynch is trying to find a way to pick up that short yard of situation on third down, but the defense does an outstanding job, on especially the defensive line. Nowhere to run and no first down. King is back now. He'll be punting. They'll take it at the 20. The Bills offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive a quick three and out yeah it was yeah, I don't know if they can erase this defense this defense is pretty good we saw that in the last drive they got good players and they're pretty excited so this is going to be tough on the offense the Bills walk to the line tie game the scores 10 to 10 McCoy solo back set Falls incomplete. 
That was a big hit by the defender that time. The receiver drops the football. I'll tell you what, I guarantee you the next time he goes over the middle, he'll be looking for that defender. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Let's go. Trent to the end. Trent to the end. McCoy. Jenkins is there to make the tackle. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Still five yards short of the first after the run. Third down coming up. The Raiders lined up in the nickel. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. And that's going to be a three and out. Phil, if that first quarter was any indication, this is going to be all about defense today. Well, it's a great start by both defenses, Jim. When I'm not going to question that. You know what happens a lot of times in games like this? As the defense stays on the field, it gets a little tired. That's when the offenses take over. We'll see if these defenses can hang in there today. Jones has got it now. That's a gain of seven. The Raiders are experiencing a little bit of a drought here offensively, having gone three straight possessions without a score. What do you think needs to be done to buck that trend here, partner? I'd say it's a little more than a drought. This is some awful offense, and there's many things you've got to do. You've got to tell your offensive line to pick things up. When the offensive line is aggressive, it gives all the stars a chance to succeed, and that's what they got to do here. Offensive line, get it going. The Raiders will look to get set. It's been a close game so far. The score is 10 to 10. Carr's got it in the gun. And he hauls it in. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Cars ready for the snap, empty backfield. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy? Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch it. Car set, empty backfield. First down and 10. The catch is made. And he'll step out of bounds. Bill Walsh, one of the first guys in the NFL to say, throw it to the open guy. Let him catch it short and see if they can make a few people miss and get those extra yards. Cars now completed four in a row. Coming to the line at the 25. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Cars back in shotgun formation. And Marshawn Lynch with the grab. The Raiders coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down. The pass catches the defense off guard. They pick up solid yards. Now it's second and short. Cars completion percentage 70% on the day. Coming to the line at the 18. Second down, three for the first. And 
it's incomplete. Just can't hold on that time. Sometimes you wonder how can they drop passes in the NFL, college football, or high school because the gloves these receivers wear, they are magnificent when it comes to helping you catch the football. So that's a big drop. When you get open, you got to make the catch. It's third down. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Lynch is going to be mad at himself after that run. He picked the wrong hole. If he have went the other way, he would have had enough space to pick up the first down. He has stopped. Now it brings up fourth down. He'll try this one from 35. The kick is good. A field goal in the early second quarter to take the lead. It was not a crisp drive, but it was good enough. They got the field goal try, and the field goal kicker came through. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. Thompson's running this one out. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Bills defense has been terrific. These coordinators on defense on both sides have to be thrilled because they have ruled this game. Oh boy, defenses, man, when they rule games, you know, they they love it. They talk the talk. You know, they're over on the sideline yelling at the offense, come on and do something because we're doing such a great job. But I like these defensive struggles, Jim. down at the 28 looking at every option they're gonna get him here for a sack well if I was that quarterback I'd be mad after getting sacked like that by the defensive end your offensive tackles just got to do a better job They bring in the extra tight end. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. That's a gain of six. Well, I think it's important for the defense. Anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Get ready. Grab 38. Hut up. Hut up. Out of the gun. McCoy has the catch. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short. Defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. The Bills decide they will punt the football. Jones marked down after a gain of four. That returns good for about five. 
Patterson making his way onto the field. What do you think here, Phil? Are you a little surprised they're ahead in this game with him not piling up the yardage we're used to? Jim, I'm very surprised. I thought today if they were going to win the football game, it was going to be because of the run. The fact that they're not running the well and winning, even they have to be surprised by that. will take the snap from the 25. And they deck the quarterback. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. But they don't have to blitz. And one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. screen with Lynch still not taken down long way to go in this game no reason to panic right now and I don't think the offense will they'll call a nice conservative play here now looking at third down the Raiders need to get to the 35 to pick up a first. Cars standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And he's going to be dumped. And that's a three and out. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down. And that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. back now he'll be punting Thompson's gonna take this one from the 22 and the tackle is made right around the 39 yard line the Bills love this type of play of course everybody would when you get a good punt return that's what you want and of course it helps when you have an explosive punt returner back there the Raiders defense forced the three and out the last series. You know what they did? They went out there and whooped the offense. You know what I mean by whoop? That means you just dominate, and they did it. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. The Raiders defense now is going to go nickel. First down at the 39. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. The Bills did a good job that time throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards down. Second and short really puts the defense in a tough position. After that grab, it's now second down and two. McCoy is going to take the handoff now. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. The Bills have not had a strong running game this half, at least in the sense of handing the football off. McCoy's had a really hard time of it, and right now his team, with it behind, knows they have to get him to step up. Well, they do. You want your running back to step up. But when you see a running game struggle like we have seen so far here today, Jim, it always comes down to this. The offensive line is getting dominated, so there's no chance for the running back to get in. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Anytime you see...
receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. He made it. McCoy's now over on the sidelines as the kicking team comes out. He racked up over 50 yards rushing. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And here's Jones. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Raiders got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense. But I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. down at the 29 Lynch Alexander's the one who made the big stop Raiders running back that time he makes a bad decision you can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football look for a few yards take advantage of that he tries for the big play what happens he gets tackled for a loss That's second down coming up. He takes it on the counter. Lynch is tackled right at the 28. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Well, doesn't get much worse than this, does it? You're losing the football game. Now you're looking at third and long. And look, there are no miracles in the NFL. I'll tell you that. So be smart. If the play is not there, don't force it. Dump it off and wait for the next time you get it. The Raiders will line up the first down marker right at the 39-yard line. The Raiders take it from the 28. Jared Cook has the catch. The tackle is made, and that's a three-and-out series for the offense. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. King is back now. He'll be punting. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. And LaShawn McCoy trotting back onto the field. It's been an excellent showing for him so far. It's his running that's really propelled his team to the lead. You know, I don't think we're surprised, are we? Because when we met with the coaches and watched practice, it was all about the run, and man, they carried everything over into the game. Really an impressive start so far in the run game. First down at the 20. McCoy's hand at the football. Brought down at the 32. He's now got 70 plus yards on the ground. The Bills want to count on the running game and have done so to this point. McCoy is taking the ball and he's leading this team on the field right now. 
Boy, he sure is. And I give him a lot of credit, but I also say this the offensive line, anytime you see a running game go this well, you got to give a lot of credit to the old lineman. It's a two tight end formation. First and ten. And it's caught by LaShawn McCoy. McCoy's tackled down at the 39. The Bills coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second and three. Got the completion. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The Bills have it at the 44. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. The Bills have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. McCoy's been absolutely brilliant and almost impossible to bring down. What a dominating performance by this offense today. Just coming out and out hitting the defense, giving the running back opportunities, and they are taking advantage of it. The Bills come to the line of scrimmage and show a full house. Second down, two to go. Has his man. He's taken down at the 47. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. Third down. Let's McCoy go. lines up in the backfield. McCoy. And that'll be a gain of about two. He's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. McCoy's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to... Short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. Play number six coming up on this drive. Get ready. Press the eight. Press the eight. First and ten. Going for the deep ball. With the contact, the ball comes out. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Take the snap from the 45. Mike Colbert. And he's tackled down at the 36 yard line. Halftime, two minutes away. Returning to the field, just two minutes to go, and it's a big spot as we've got an offense that would love to increase that lead before the intermission. Third down on the way. Well, let's go. 
from the gun. Benjamin's going to pull in the bullet pass. He's brought down. Third catch today so far. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. In the red zone. Here's the first snap after the big play. Let's go. Out of the shotgun. Tried to find his target over the middle, but that pass goes incomplete. Marching down the field and taking their time. The Bills come to the line with a bunch set. Second and goal from the four. With two hands, he has it. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. Get ready. Two, Two, Third and goal at the five. The ball is taken out of his hands. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Should be an easy one here. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Well, it's a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And the tackle is made right around the 32-yard line. And Crabtree's ready to start this next possession. They're staring at a deficit, and he's not had a first half to remember up to this point. Not going to blame it all on him. There's a lot of people to blame on the offensive side. I'm going to start with the coaches. You just got to have a better plan on how to get your star wide receiver open. They haven't done that. He's really had no chance to get it done. The Bills with two extra defensive backs in the dime. First down at the 32. Lynch is ready to run off the screen. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Carr's going to take it from the gun. Pulls it in. 
gains 15. The Raiders signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. getting set now following the timeout first down here The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They go screen with Lynch. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The Raiders will take a second here to talk things over as they call the timeout on second down. try over again on second down. Card is going to take the snap from the shotgun. And Crabtree can't hold on that time. Crabtree is going to be so bad at himself for dropping that football because receivers, you never know when your chance is going to come. And then finally, you get open, they call a play where you're the the primary guy, it's right there, and you drop it. Well, don't get down on yourself. Stay up. The football will come your way again. The ball is spotted at the 49. Got it in the gun. Marcel Darius with the sack. The Bills are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The defense needed to slow this game down, so that may be a very useful timeout. Now they're ready to go. He'll be punting. And he punts it, and it's going to sail out of bounds. Try to play kick away from that dangerous returner. The Raiders have to feel pretty good about themselves. That last time on the field, they're out there a long time, but only gave up three in the end. Yeah, that's the good point. Uh, the bad point is they just gave up a lot of easy plays to the other the, to the opponent's offense. You know, you just can't give away easy passes and let them run right up the middle and get yards. So they got to toughen up. Solo back set. First down at the 34. McCoy take it down. The Bills one timeout remaining. We're back and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout.
Second and short following the run. They'll hand it off to Tolbert. And tackle down at the 43-yard line. The Bills have to call one right here, and they do. And they are out of timeouts. It's third down coming up. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. Launching it deep. Intercepted. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. And Marshawn Lynch heading back onto the field. He's been carrying a heavy load for them today, Phil. Yeah, he has, Jim. You know, usually when you're winning the physical battle out on the field, you run the football so well, you almost always are leading the game. So, so you cannot have any complaints about the run game. It's looked great. close out the first half from Western New York and we'll take a short break for halftime before returning for the third quarter. Thanks Jim and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. Both teams have arguably played well enough to be leading at this point but you see the score and realize this one may very well come down to the wire. So let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. Third down from the 10. Roberts got the catch here on the quick pass, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 32. Later on the drive, he'll cut it off the left side this time, and he caps off the six-play drive with the score. The Raiders is up now by seven. Fields with the football early in the first. Tolbert's going to stay up the middle, and this four-play drive goes for a touchdown. We're brand new at center. Now first and 10, McCoy is going to look for a gap, and he caps off the two-play drive with a score. They're now on top by four. So that'll do it for us. We'll send you back down to the field where Jim Nance and Phil Sims are on the call. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. Janikowski ready now to get the second half. Half is officially underway. Thompson's going to start his return. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Raiders' defense had a rough go of it in the first half, Bill. And let's see what they can do now to start the second half. Well, they got manhandled. They got beat up. They got pushed around. I mean, let's toughen up and change things around. <laughs> the 
the Bills come out in the pistol. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. McCoy has the grab. That's a pickup of 14. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First down here after the completion. They'll go ground. McCoy's taken down at the 49. He's now past the 100-yard mark on the day. The Bills have really been able to run the ball today. That's been a huge reason why they lead. McCoy has been brilliant, and he's shown no reason to stop giving him the football. Well, it's working well. Don't stop. The running game is hot. The offensive linemen feel the power. They love it. Just keep running right at it. Second down here after that run play. Double tight end formation. Three-step drop. Benjamin's got the catch and the first. The Bills really got it going now. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? It just gives the offensive coordinator confidence. And, of course, this quarterback, he is always ready to go. The Bills lined up Let's in go. the pistol. First down at the 48. McCoy up the middle. He's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. He didn't get many yards that time on that run, but he's had a terrific day. When there's an opportunity to get some yards, he's been there to take advantage of it. Setting up now at the 45. Second down and seven. They'll run it here. Tolbert tackled down. Nothing like a running back who fights for every extra yard. When you get that extra yard or two, what it does, it just creates better situations for your offense. It'll be third down. quarterback with the give to the fullback picks up about two <laughs> Hauschka set to attempt the field goal good I think it was a risky decision to send him out there and kick this long field goal they miss it and look what they've done they've given the other team's offense very good field position the Raiders offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one partner well the fact that they are losing this game so far the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side you know you have many plays in that playbook I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half Lynch is in the backfield. The Raiders will take the snap from the 45. Cooper's tackled right at the 42. The Raiders did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. First down, offense readying for the snap. Cars 
Suggs back in shotgun formation. And it's caught by Jared Cook. That's five receptions on the day. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Breaking huddle at the 30-yard line. The Bills with a nickel look here on defense. First down at the 30. The give. Lynch is tackled down after a gain of 12. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. The Raiders, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got, you're got you down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. Now first and ten. Gets the handle here. Darius is in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. And welcome back. Daniel Bellini is working on getting us an update on the injury as we return to action. This next snap will take place at the 19. Carr standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Scans the field. And it's the tight end, Jared Cook, on the receiving end. Sixth catch today so far. The Raiders had a nice play designed that time. It pulled the defense, and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. Third down after the completion. They're setting up screen. Right there to make the stop. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Should be what we call a gimme. And he converts here on the field goal try. They had to get back within range before this game got much later, and they have done just that with this field goal midway through the third quarter. Yeah, that's the positive, that they got back in the game. It's close, everything here in the third quarter. But you know what? you got to worry about it. You think, hey, we had an opportunity. Did we squander seven points right there? Will that cost us a game? Well, we're going to find out. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. And now Tate. Ball is out. He's brought to a halt. Now as we see the numbers, a lot of credit goes to the coaching staff for not giving up on the run game. It wasn't working early, but has paid off late. Jim, you were right that time. The coaching staff, they've shown a lot of patience to stay with the run game. The offensive line, of course, they're playing up, and now they're finally getting it done. Well, that's nothing but just, uh, that, that's just luck. That's all you can say. You're the return team. They fumble the football. It bounces out, and they get it back. they lucky there. Oh! 
Flag is out. That's a false start on the offense, and that'll cost him five yards. False start, offense. First down at the 16. McCoy up the middle. He's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. Well, not many yards you get there on that play, but it doesn't matter what a day and what a job this running back has, has done here. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. The Raiders defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel from the gun. And now he'll slide. It's not as easy as it looks. That quarterback, good job of sliding before he takes the hit that time. <laughs> Third down now. Halfway through the third quarter. The pass is thrown to Jordan Matthews. And Matthews is met at the 44. The Bills put themselves in a terrible situation. Third long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Stands in the pocket. And they take him down. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback, and the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. Loss of four on the play. Second and 14 after the sack. Get ready. Right at the end. Drop back. Shotgun formation. Gets it out for the completion. That picks up seven. Nice job that time by the tight end. Makes the catch. And you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember, they're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. Quarterback gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. This is third down. Let's go. Go Dropping back now into the shotgun. Scanning the field. Catch made. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. The football rests at the 44. Let's go. First down at the 44. Colbert's marked down at the 41. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Colbert's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Let's go! 
LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. The line of scrimmage, the 32-yard line. The Bills will come out in the pistol. Let's go! Fire, Fire, yeah. Fire, yeah. The Bills from the 32. Surveys. Set up now at the 32. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. He has the grab. That's a gain of six. That's his first reception today. The Bills do a good job that time on second down. They don't force the football down the field. They throw it short. They pick up some solid yards to make it a good situation for them, third and short. Play after play after play here on this drive. Let's go! The Bills snap it at the 26. McCoy has the catch. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Jim, years ago, you never would have seen a screen pass on third down. But offenses are so varied now. You see it more and more. That was nice execution on that play, and it picked up a first down. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First down and 10. Mike Tolbert gets the football. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Tolbert is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Mounting a serious drive. Tolbert's lined up as the single back. Feeds him again. Picks up about five. The Bills don't. Once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. It can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through. Good, solid run that time. On the way, third down. Let's go. Five, Five. Out of the shotgun formation. Jordan Matthews brings it in. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? This has been a long drive so far. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. McCoy, and he's across for the touchdown. And a comeback now is going to have to be a monumental one. That touchdown has them looking in pretty good shape. Yeah, they look like they're on good shape on the offensive side. But listen, no lead is safe in this league. So you've got to be alert. Be alert for trick plays and things that you haven't seen yet. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. And the extra point is good.
the Bills getting set to kick it away. Jones is not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. The Raiders came out and ran the football with success, but that certainly has leveled off. Lynch has had less success as this game's gone on, Phil. It's hard to physically dominate a team from start to finish in the NFL. The domination was there early, but the defense has risen up, and now they're going to have to find another way to move this football. An extra tight end on the field for this one. First down at the 20. Hooper's out there to receive the screen pass. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. Ready, ready, 18, ready, Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Well, there's third long. I'll just say this. Be very careful on the offensive side. comes to a close and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Raiders are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. Take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Secures it with two hands. Well, when you're down a couple scores in the second half, you're just looking for some positives and trying to get some momentum on your side. So that first down by the offense, maybe that'll give them some confidence, and we'll see where they go with it from here. Cars completed his last six passes. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. From the gun. Cooks there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Big and open. That's what this tight end's been today, Phil. Yeah, we see it more and more. Tight ends getting the football from their quarterbacks. Why? Because they're going against linebackers. They're faster and usually bigger than the linebackers. That's matchups you love on the field. At the line of scrimmage, the 41. This play set up by the long gainer. They'll go shotgun here for Daryl Patterson with the play. The defense has a lead here in the fourth quarter, Jim, so they're willing to give up those short completions. Now it's up to the defense. Come up, make the tackle. Good job that time. Second and five coming up. The Raiders snap it at the 36. Looking at every option. And Marshawn Lynch with the grab. The defense, they have a lead here in the fourth quarter, so they're willing to give up short pass completions, but good job by the offense. Third down on the way. 
Carr's got no one behind him. Just a quarterback waiting for the snap. Takes it from the gun. Reaches out and snatches it. Gains 13. Nice catch that time by the receiver on the slant route. Quarterback puts it right on target. From the red zone. Lynch lined up as the single back. First down at the 19. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. And that's a gain of 13. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. The Raiders have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Lynch has been a consistent force on the ground. Yeah, he's just a running back who never gives up. And when he runs, it's arms, elbows, everything is moving. And he is one tough running back to tackle. Stepping up to the line at the six-yard line. First and goal from the six. Lynch gains five. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Second and goal at the one. That brings the play to an end. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with the pass, and if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. This long drive continues. I think the big decision is now, Jim, do you kick the football, take the three points, or do you go for it on fourth down? To me, you kick the football and get three points on the board. Chip shot here. The kick is through for three. And that field goal should help to make this an entertaining fourth quarter. Well, I have no doubt it's going to be an entertaining fourth quarter, but I thought the coach should have not tried to field goal there that time. I would have gone for it on fourth down and tried to get seven points. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. Tate will test the coverage. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Phil, this quarterback matchup has been a great one today as both have put on quite a show. Yeah, it's been a great matchup between the quarterbacks. And look, I think the league is loaded with really good quarterbacks. I'm tired of hearing people say, oh, the league doesn't have enough guys. Yeah, they do. There are a lot of good ones. Give them time and they'll show it to you. The Bills will come to the line. Still a very close game here in the fourth quarter. The scores 27 to 19. The Bills from the 22. McCoy's taking the handoff. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. When you're leading the game in the fourth quarter and you're on offense, you are looking to use the time up on the clock. So that was a nice play call by the offense to run. Defense stops it for a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Let's go. Three, 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 eight. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. 
Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. It's third down coming up. McCoy is going to secure the handoff. And it's Reggie Nelson in on that last play. McCoy is able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. Two tight ends on the field here. First down at the 42. Ellis is in on the tackle. The Bills lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Tolbert's had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's right. Keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. Let's if go. you do, the defense will have everything on their side. Handoff made. Going to be a penalty here. The defense accepts the penalty. After that penalty, it's now second down and 20. The Raiders lined up in the nickel. Let's go. From the shotgun. The pass doesn't find a mark. When you're in a situation like this, it's third and real long. Don't take a chance. Be careful and get off the field. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. Let's go. He'll take the snap from the gun. The Bills get a first down. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. First down on the way. First down following the long play. Get ready. Scans the field. Matthews with the reception. good route that time by the receiver they call that a post route and they call it a post route because he is running towards the goal post nice throw and catch Jim the offensive coordinator has done a terrific job so far here today he's got his team winning they're in the red zone let's see how clever he's going to be on this call first down at the 16. And now on the draw, he's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. The Bills have really been dominant today on the offensive side. In the red zone now, they just take the football and they run it right at the defense and pick up solid yards. Coming up, second down. They'll go ground. That's a gain of six. They're just. 
just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Let's Goal go. line Let's defense on the field. Mike Tolbert. Games one. One team's running the football, the other is passing. But both are working with their game plans. Yeah, they both are working. As you look down there on the field, one set of running backs are really happy. On the other side, the wide receiver group, they're really happy. So it, as long as you get it done, that's all that matters. The long drive continues. Get ready. Second and goal from the two. Back to the ground. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. This will be the 11th play of the drive. Let's go. Red 38. Red. Third and goal at the two. The defense gets the sack. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. We'll head back to the field now after the injury timeout. Danielle Bellini is getting us the update on exactly what happened down there. A short field goal try on the way. Drives it through for the field goal. The outcome of this game is probably now all but decided as that field goal makes it virtually official. Yeah, I think it does make it official. They're going to win this football game. And you sit around now and you can just think about all the things you're going to tell the press and how great you are and what you did out there today to help your team win. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Jones got it. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Raiders back onto the field now to get another drive started. They came away with a field goal in their last possession, Phil, but had to be a letdown because they were really moving the football. Oh, I think you're right. They had to be let down. You, you execute so many good plays going down the field, and you just need that one to get you in the end zone. They did not do that. So, Jim, I think you're right. I think they were a little down about that field goal. From the shotgun. Cooper's got it. First down. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. Cars going to take it from the gun. Stands in the pocket. The Raiders now move the chains. 
eighth catch today so far. Tough to blitz this offense, man. They are so well taught. And that time they pick up the blitz, and the quarterback throws it down the field to get a completion. Lynch is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. And this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. Second and ten coming up. They bring in the extra tight end. And he's taken down. Jim, I got to take the offensive coordinator to task here. You know, sometimes when you can't protect the quarterback, keep some extra people in to help. They don't do it, and the defense gets another sack. It's third and 17 here after the sack. The Raiders need to get to the 43 to pick up a first. Carr's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Scanning the field. Cook's got it. And a first. Jim, I'll tell you, quarterbacks love it when the defense blitzes because all they have to do now is find one receiver, make an accurate throw. He did that time, and that's why he got a completion. The football sits at the 34. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. They go screen with Lynch. Running room. Keeps churning ahead. Touchdown. This game is tight. Late in the fourth, and even after that touchdown, they're going to need a miracle in the closing moments. Well, I think what we're finding out, the game is never over. Play it till the end. They did a great job of scoring there. Now can they find a way to get that football back and maybe win this game? Looking across the middle. Hey, interesting decision. I think we're going to see more two-point conversions in the league this year than ever before because kicking an extra point from the 15-yard line, it's not a gimme anymore. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Thompson's going to test the coverage here. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First down at the 25. In the end, it picks up only a yard. That'll stop the clock with that timeout.
After the two yard carry it sets up second down and eight. It's a two tight end formation. They'll hand it off to Tolbert. Picked up a couple that time. No surprise. They immediately call the timeout. The defense needed to slow this game down. That timeout might be very useful. Now they're ready to go. Following the run, it's now third and seven. McCoy. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. They immediately call for a timeout. Back out there for action after that defensive timeout. set to punt here. Jones is going to take this one from the 28. And a run back of about five. So the offense gets the football back here in the last two minutes off of the punt. And everything looks like it's coming down to this drive. Yeah, it does. And, you know, when you're in a situation like this on the offensive side, you can be conservative. Why? You have four downs. Makes it really tough for the defense to try to stop all four of those downs. First down, pressure on every snap now. First down at the 33. Out to Cook for a gain of about five. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Good job by the offense here, Jim. Be in a hurry-up mode. You have no timeouts left. You need to get this play clock stopped. This is an almost must convert scenario. Third down coming up here in the late stages. Yes, that's four down territory, but you don't want to face make or break at this point. Yeah, on the defensive side, now it's time for the coach to do his job. Be aggressive, call a defense that the offense has not seen so far today. If you do that, I think you'll catch it by surprise. The Raiders take it from the 38. Surveys. Brings it in. And now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. And now trailing. Obviously, they need to score, and they need to do so in a hurry. Yeah, everybody knows it's hurry up offense. It's going to come about on the defensive side. Do not give up the big play. Jim, good job by the offense here. You don't have any timeouts left, so you must get that football snap. See how many plays you can get in before the game is over. I agree with spiking the football here, Jim. You spike it, uh, you stop the clock, and it gives you time to have a little breather to think of the situation and call a good play in the huddle. This is a big third down snap. Patterson's out wide on the left. Carr's got it in the gun. There's a flag right there. Illegal. 
really touching offense. The defense will take the penalty. Fourth down, late in the game, and the coach has to go for it. Patterson split out wide on the right. Cards back in shotgun formation. The defender appears to have... No, the receiver has the catch. Cars' inability to produce the conversion on fourth down in all likelihood signals the end of their last chance to win this game. In situations like this, I know the coaches and his teammates all expect him to come through, but not that time, just, just not a good throw. Today, we've gotten a close look at two of the best running backs in the NFL, and they have not disappointed. You know, Jim, when you talk about running backs, we always just talk about their talent. But maybe the biggest thing of all is to make the right reads. So read the blocking, pick the right hole to run to, and when you do that, you have a chance at great success. Coming to the line at the 44. Takes the knee. Second down coming up. Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now.